I'm sure that there are a few of us in this room who read Whispers in the Logia. Anybody read Whispers in the Logia? Come on, <laughs> confess up to it. We all do. We all do. And uh, I read in a little uh, blog part or Twitter part of Whispers in the Logia uh, yesterday that for the first time in history, Pope Benedict will be celebrating the feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe in St. Peter's Basilica this December. So I think that's a wonderful sign in the universal church of acknowledging the importance of Our Lady of Guadalupe, not only to people of Hispanic origin, but to all people. And it's a great sign of our times to, to see and to witness to that. It's great that we can come together here in St. John, Columbia, to also reflect on our experiences in ministry to Hispanics, to share ideas, and to really glory in the spirituality that our Hispanic people have brought to us. A spirituality that is being shared through parishes, uh, a spirituality that has also really stretched our Catholic people of all nationalities to realize the universality of the church and the importance of welcoming those who come to our parishes to seek the presence of God, to seek our welcome, and the openness to minister to them. As leaders in those parishes, it is so important that we are not only up with the trends of our times, but ahead of the trends of our times, so that we can be the leaders in setting the tone uh, for our people. Whenever I visit uh, our parishes for parish visitation, it's really very evident that the people pick up the tone of the parish leaders. And the tone that is set by the parish leaders is the tone that is picked up by the people in the parish. So perhaps at times we don't realize the importance or the impact of our leadership. But when we have a welcoming tone set for all who come to our parish and are willing to be open to all who come, that tone spreads throughout the community. It's just amazing to see how people pick up on our leadership and how people will follow the tone that we set. So it's so important that we come here today, that we reflect upon our experiences in ministering to uh, our people, especially to those of Hispanic origin, and in the way in which we can take ideas from here, put them at work in our parishes, and help our people, both of Hispanic and Anglo origins, of being able to welcome one another and being able to reach out to one another. Thank you so much for being here today. God bless you.